Hello everyone and now welcome to game two in the series here on Last Refuge between Fanta Fiction and Tho. Fanta Fiction spawning as the red undead player here on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile Tho with a one to nothing lead in this best of three spawning as the purple human. Now game one did unfold in a rather unorthodox manner going for a lich first and fast expansion on Echo Isle. However, Tho countering, going Mountain King first, and I really do believe it was that Mountain King first strategy that set up Tho for that victory. At level 3 Mountain King, level 2 Stormbolt, 225 damage per bolt, pretty much stunning a ghoul and then following it up with a couple of quick swipes from a footman's sword to take down ghouls very, very easily. That Lich unable to get away from that mountain king no potions of healing as he was trying to go for a fast expansion and that really became his downfall even fighting on blight was not enough of an advantage let's take a look all right so showing how much micro he has i believe he called the arms on that one on this one peasant to move it fast from here to there and then had it return to work and then build that farm so every little trick in the book coming in from so as we now see Tho going in for a much more traditional Archmage. On the bottom left, Fanta Fiction is going for that Death Knight. He knows that he now needs to play a straight up game. That interesting strategy, inst interesting tactic that made everything flip the script did not work. And Fanta Fiction now in a hole. Will he be able to recover and get this up to two game or excuse me, one game apiece? That is going to be what a best of three is as the Tomb of Relics now down. Death Knight <coughs> will most likely just pick up a Rod of Necromancy. And will he try and do harassment? Interesting thing about this particular map is that the size of it makes it rather difficult for the Death Knight to even stop any of the serious creeping going on. This 3-3 creep camp will get cleared out. Militia is off. One of them even ensnared, doesn't really care, not going to really hinder at all, as the Death Knight should find some sort of critter. There's a pig, sacrificial pig. There you go. And what does a pig do? It turns into two humanoid skeletons, of course. There we go, two, human two human humanoid skeletons. Law of conservation of mass is not... Well, conservation of mass is not required in Warcraft 3 as somehow one pig does turn into two humanoid skeletons with bone shields and bone swords all at the same time. Archmage does have one arcane tower in the front here. Going to be very difficult to take down as those skeletal minions will get absolutely destroyed before they even get very close. Now, very important to note that these no Wardens are... Um, oh, very, very nicely done. You can see that the no Warden or Fanta Fiction moved this one Skeletal Minion who was at one hit point to the back of the no Warden so that the Null Overseer could not get within range. He's now actually fighting this Null Overseer here. The Death Knight will get close to level 2, but just a little bit shy. Oh, taking a little bit of damage there as we are looking at a Militia Creep here by Tho. Tho... Really, really hoping to perhaps um, abuse this mercenary camp here in just a moment after setting up this expansion. Claws of Attack plus 6, Ring of Protection plus 2. Not necessarily the best item on an Archmage, but still will give him a little bit more oomph and a little bit more protection from those ghouls and any basic forms of attack. We are already taking the Halls of the Dead. Necropolis, just a memory. As we're looking at what Fanta Fiction could really be doing. I believe he's just going to be going for a much more traditional style. Getting that Lich, teching the Tier 3, and then using Obsidian Statues. That is a very, very strong style. Meanwhile, Tho looks like he's going to be going for that fast expansion. He's going to try to get an economic advantage. And then use the Mercenary Camp um, to make up for the fact that he is behind in tech. Being able to pick up... A Troll Shadow Priest and also a, uh, a Stone or a Rock Golem. Is it a Rock Golem? A Mud Golem, excuse me. The level 2 guy there. Oh, beautiful steal there. Also picking up a Mantle of Int or a Ring of Protection plus 2 as he is still wandering around. Alright, there is an Ensnare on a Crypt Fiend. The Crypt Fiend does have a Rod of Necromancy now being transferred to the Death Knight. As poor, poor Crypt Fiend does get a Death Coil. 
but it may not be enough. Oh, the Criffing down to 33 hit points, and it does get taken down. So Fanta Fiction, extremely unlucky at this stage in the game. As you see that this one water, water elemental down to 64 hit points, is it actually going to fall? Don't use a death coil on it. It is going to perhaps disappear right there as we now see some... Um, damage being dealt. All right, this one arcane tower looks like it could get taken down here in just a moment. It is trying to be repaired. That crypt being able to get off a shot there as we now see both sides still continuing to fight. Death Knight does have a bit of hit points to give as the footman is going to fall here. There, it does get taken down. Don't really know if it if that death coil was needed as that one unit had already taken a fair amount of damage. So far, the Archmage still wandering around here. The Death Knight now backing off. Crypt Fiend at 258 hit points. Death Knight down to 205. As we should see them now retreat back on the Blight. Halls of the Dead teching to Altar of Darkness. We don't see the tech to Tier 3. So this may be the Ted style of the Undead push. Using um, Meat Wagons and Obsidian Statues. That's been a very, very um, common style now after the World Cyber Games 2012 as the Archmage is going to be clearing out this mercenary camp. There's that Troll Shadow Priest that I was talking about. There's that Troll Berserker that is also oh so good. And this Creep Camp could get cleared out here rather quickly. So far, that Troll Shadow Priest low on mana, but he doesn't care. He has Brilliant Aura. He feels a bit smarter, as we're now looking at the Lich and Death Knight. Troll Trappers will get cleared out. Fanta Fiction fighting on Blight to ensure that the Crypt Fiends are regenerating hit points and at a very fast rate. Death Knight sitting at level 2, Lich sitting at level 1. Meanwhile, that Archmage may be getting up to level 3 as the Troll Shadow Priest, um, already at level 3 as the Troll Shadow Priest now, clears out that entire creep camp rather quickly. Goblin Shredder now picked up. Goblin Shredder the perfect counter to those Troll High Priest. 34 to 61 damage, 150% extra damage against that medium armor as this creep camp will get cleared out. There's that Ogre Magi healing wards being left behind. A very nice item for Tho as Tho should be able to use a couple of that those in the fight. Alright, what is he going to sell? He does have Ruin Bracers. It looks like he really does have every item under the sun covered, as you must give me one moment. Alright, welcome back, folks, as we do get the game underway. Those healing wards are going to spell a bit of a problem, as we do see the Swirl Town Portal now getting back. Where is it going to land? And there it is, straight on top of all these Crypt Fiends. Beautiful Frost Nova to take on the Troll Berserker already as the Death Knight also taking a bit of damage. There you go. Footman do have the Fen. The Death Knight running around the corner. Looks like he will be able to escape. Archmage trying to catch up to him, but will not be able to as we now see the Goblin Shredder also trying to catch up. A little bit of unorthodox strategy and fighting there as the Goblin Shredder now looking to pull back. This is a bit of a split army here as the Lich is going to be trying to retreat. We are going in the Black Citadel. We don't see any meat wagons, however, which is a bit of a surprise for me as I would have expected the Lich and the Death Knight to try and stop this expansion before it really got going. We are going to see more and more towers being added. We are not even at 50 supply when he's trying to move into Tier 3, so this is not the Ted style of Undead. As the Ogre Magi will get taken down. Level 3 on the Death Knight. Lich sitting at level 2. Obsidian Statue just a bit too far to try to heal the, Obsidi um, the heal the Death Knight. As ghouls have been bringing. Oh, a beautiful Tome of Experience for the Lich as well. As the Lich is now at level 2. If the Death Knight and Lich clear out this creep camp, they will be even in terms of item items. Or are they going to try to actually make their way off to the top left? That would be extremely risky, but... Um, but very, very potentially game-changing as we are now looking at the Blacksmith being sped-built. Let's take a look at this. The Death Knight now looking to come in. The Lich could be in a bit of trouble. Take some Arcane Feedback damage. No. Skeletal Minion, Frost Nova. Death Knight could try to take down some more of those units as well. It looks like the damage is being dealt. As you can see that the um, units are just falling over there. Constantly trying to repair all of those towers. As one Guard Tower may get taken down. Level 3 now on the Lich. But the Lich is now out of mana. And that is the problem with this uh, pressure right now. Delaying this as the towers are already now all constructed. Scroll a town portal now trying to get away. Will they be able to get any more of those necessary kills? It looks like they were able to get a few more peasants. As we see, oh, the Archmage has come in with a, with a drop of his own. Footman now trying to take down Acolytes. 
Black Citadel not yet done. The Acolytes are in a lot of trouble here. Only two or three mining Acolytes as a healing ward is in the backfield, keeping some of these units alive here. This has just, just been a complete rush here as the Ogre Mauler does finally get taken down. All right, Water Elemental in a bit of trouble. All right, is the Goblin Zeppelin going to go down? Let's take a look at this. Water Elementals are going to be falling. If the Death Knight can actually hit down that Goblin Zeppelin, the Archmage might be in trouble. As you can see that the Water Elementals are still fighting back here. Continuing the fight, let's take a look at this. We do have Black Citadel already up. Lich could pick up an Orb of Corruption at any time. Water Elemental does get taken down as the Archmage is now in a bit of trouble. Let's take a look at this. There's one Footman left and that Footman looks like it will fall. Will it give experience? Yes. Level 4 on the Death Knight as there is only one Mining Acolyte. Acolyte left. More Acolytes do need to be trained. That is an extremely, extremely painfully slow mining speed as we are now looking at perhaps the Lich picking up that Orb of Corruption. There it is. All right, more Acolytes do need to be trained. It looks like the Water Elemental now coming back in again. Goblin Zeppelin picks up the Archmage. And for some reason, why isn't Fanta Fiction training up more Acolytes? He is only sitting on two. Did he lose? Oh, he was supply blocked, being forced to get up another Ziggurat in time. All right, so not being able to see the supply count does make it rather difficult to figure out why things are happening the way they are goblin zeppelin now running back mountain king gonna be joining that archmage a lot of damage was dealt there you want as the guard tower guard towers are still being constructed archmage water elementals wand of illusion now coming in as we see that this is going to be another towering attempt just to make sure that his opponent does not get this expansion very easily. Interesting though, because the guard towers are actually um, easier to take down than the actual creep camp. So this doesn't make that much sense to me, but the Archmage will get very, very close to level 5. Mountain King still sitting at 1 as the Arch or the Death Knight and the Lich. Level 4, level 4 combination could do a lot of damage. We do see a reveal here. And I believe that was from the Goblin Laboratory instead on the other side of the map as we are now looking at the Archmage looking to finish off this Rock Golem Creep Camp. Alright, the Archmage actually looking to back off here. That Mountain King should get to level 2 and get on his way to level 3. Robe of Magi plus 6 mana up to 330 now. As that Mountain King looking very, very smart in his new, in his new clothes. Alright, so... If you ever wondered, yes, in Warcraft 3, clothes do make the man, so to speak. As the Goblin Zeppelin now going to be rejoining up with that Archmage. Archmage still sitting at level 4, not yet quite at level 5. Archmage could take a step over. He could use the experience. There we go. 1400, or, or what, exactly 1400 experience to be at level 5, level 2 Brilliance, or a level 3 Water Elementals. As here we go, in comes the next attack. Alright, Lich and Death Knight sitting at level 4 each. Very, very deadly, but still without any meat wagons. Not going to be able to destroy all of these towers in the back. These towers have the level 2 masonry upgrade with 7 armor. And um, I believe, what, 10%? No, yeah, 20% more hit points? 20% more hit points um, total. Coming back down over here, you can see... All right, the Ogre Mauler now looking to just try to bash in everything. The water the destroyers were devouring magic to try and take down some of those water elementals. That has worked a bit as the Acolytes are now purposely trying to keep up these Ziggurats. This is a problem. The Ziggurats, 55 over 40. Acolytes are getting taken down as the Goblin Zeppelin is picking up low hit point units. There's a Frost Nova picking that unit up as well. No web at all as the Scroll of Town Portal now coming in, taking down the last bit of the units there, and there they go. 55 over 40, missing one Acolyte off over to the north. There he goes, rejoins back up. But this has still been very, very problematic as Tho can win this game of money just because he has more of it. All right, we see Meat Wagon finally joining in on the fight. The Meat Wagon could actually attack ground right there. 
and it would deal damage to the town hall and perhaps potentially deal damage to any walking by peasants. Alright, um, I can't tell if any damage is actually being dealt to the walking by peasants. Destroyer, um, oh, there's a Frost Nova dealing a bit of damage and slowing up the mining. As we now see that the Archmage and the Mountain King will be coming by together. Here you go, there's the attack. Crypt Fiends are attacking here again and we are still waiting for this Town Hall to fall. Town Halls are extremely durable, especially if there's only one Meat Wagon attacking now and there are... And there is level 2 masonry upgrades. Alright, peasants taking a lot of damage here. Mountain King now trying to come in. There you go. There's some attacking as the Mountain King will no longer be able to regenerate hit points. Oh, we could see a Wand of Illusion getting devoured here. Uh, what's going on here that this uh, Destroyer just getting some free attacks? Not quite sure if he... Fanta Fiction has to realize that that is an illusion. Not quite sure why he isn't trying to devour it for some extra mana. Here we go. Archmage now coming back around. And Fanta Fiction with, what is this, Archmage? He's actually scared of the illusionary Archmage. All right, Fanta Fiction not really paying attention. And that is going to come back to hurt him. As we now see, Tho has an extra expansion here. All right, adding insult to injury. We are already at Castle. We could, in fact, get level 3 masonry upgrades as the Death Knight is in serious trouble. Archmage sitting at 5. And not nowhere near six. He does have a tome of retraining. Could easily get Brilliance Aura and also um, a Blizzard instead to try and counter all of these Crypt Fiends. We can see the attack now coming in as the Arcane Towers level three Masonry upgrades are now done. 150 extra hit points. As we see that Tho is still sitting at low, no upkeep. He is mining 30 gold a minute right now compared to his opponent's 7. That is absolutely a huge, huge difference. And he's just going to be able to get a completely large bank. He's going to be winning this game perhaps through extra items as opposed to an army. Getting Blizzard back up to level 3. That is 50 damage per wave for, for 10 waves. That is a tremendous amount of damage. As you now see Blizzard just absolutely destroying that meat wagon off to the north. Here you go. No real way to stop it at all. As the Archmage is backing off. You can see that the Obsidian statues do not heal themselves. They do get that regeneration from that Death Knight. But I believe the Death Knight with only level 2 Unholy Aura. That just gives your normal regeneration. Arch, Archmage coming in, um, still getting off more blizzards. It looks like a lot of damage has been dealt. There's Holy Light saving that Archmage still. And the Archmage looks like he will be able to fend off the attack as Tho jumps into 67 over 72 supply. Archmage looking to perhaps take this all down. We could see even some healing waves coming in or healing wards coming in as we do have one destroyer trying to take down this Archmage but that is simply not going to work as the Archmage has so much mana. There's a, a, a Stormbolt on should have been on one of the actual units that was sitting inside the blizzard as the Archmage has just um, whittled away at this army and you can see Cryptfiend after Cryptfiend is going to be falling as the Archmage forcing to use or forced to use that scroll or staff of preservation to save a low hit point unit, I believe the knight was teleported back all the way home. Coming back over here, healing ward, healing up all of the units. Paladin could easily heal up that Mountain King up to full. You can see the devour magic underway as the destroyer now will be backing off. He wants to make sure he doesn't give his opponent any extra heals whatsoever. Crypt fiends. Arch, uh, skeletal archers uh, repairing from acolytes bringing forward as we now see the meat wagon coming in as well trying to launch attacks Arya stop please alright Arya here come here alright alright so this is apparently going to be a daddy cast now um, I'll probably bring the microphone off everything as the blizzard is now coming down here. So, so far, this has just been a constant, constant attack, constant pressure. Archmage doing a great job pulling everything away as the Archmage still pulling and taking down a couple of Crypt Fiends here. You can see that the Archmage sitting at about a quarter of his way to level 6. 
from level 5 as all the undead player can really do is try and do some repairing on all of these meat wagons. The meat wagon is trying to take down this economic advantage but you can see that Tho is already sitting on a thousand or 1200 gold and is going to be able to get into high upkeep very very easily. Archmage sitting down at 300 hit points. Holy Light should be coming in from that Paladin momentarily. There you go as the Blizzard will take down another Meat Wagon there. Continuing to follow this up. So much damage and a beautiful, beautiful Death Coil saving a low hit point Crypt Fiend just in time. As the Archmage just needs to sit back. Though doesn't want to give his opponent too much experience. That is why he is not engaging. He knows he has the economic advantage and the army advantage at this point at three bases to one. So he has no real reason to straight up engage. However, if his opponent can get up to level five by creeping, that may be his downfall as the level four lich or level five lich and level five death knight, that nuking power will just become infant or just that much stronger, not infinitely stronger just that much stronger and the and perhaps the paladin will not be able to heal up all of that damage fast enough death knight sitting at four lich sitting at four it looks like both of them just shy of level five as now we see that the archmage is bringing the battle into the base there is the revelation as the black citadel straight comes on in archmage may try to blizzard this yes he is gonna blizzard it as a lot of damage is being dealt Death Knight still sitting at level 4, still trying to fight back here as the Obsidian Statue is taking way more damage than they should. Alright, one Obsidian Statue going to get taken down. Alright, there goes another Crypt Fiend as all the units are coming in to engage. The Destroyer is now trying to come in as well. But with only one Abomination to try to counteract all of those Spellbreakers, the Spellbreakers are simply immune to the magic damage of the Destroyers. And this is just a one-side whooping as the Archmage and Archmage Mountain King Paladin is just continually pushing. I believe the Death Knight and the Lich has not even gotten off one lone kill here at all. They're both still sitting at level 4 and there is the GG. Tho takes this series in th two straight games. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game two. There is a game three that is an anti-spoiler game. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys watch the anti-spoiler game as well.